Good morning. Thank you. Yes, I have a problem with my basement drain. It started last uh, May 1 of 18. I had a backup, and I called a plumber, and they sneaked it out and fixed it. It happened again on October 1st, uh, and they came back. It happened again on October 29th, and they came back. Then they said, oh, you need a camera put down there. They put a camera down there, and they found that the, the pipe had separated. It was broken. I called the insurance. They said, go ahead and fix it. So they broke up the floor and put a new PVC pipe and, and connected it to the existing pipe. Uh, they sealed up the floor, then it backed up three or four times. I called them back. Uh, one fellow was very, very rude. And uh, anyhow, to make a long, long story short, uh, I didn't get them back again. I just didn't like their attitude. I called another plumber. He looked and he he said there was no problems. Then I didn't, the insurance, uh, I waited all that time before the in, I had the insurance put the floor down because I thought there, there's something going on because it kept backing up. And then they put the floor down and uh, in April, then in May, it backed up and it backed up three or four times. I had uh, the insurance people's plumber come back and they put the uh, a camera down uh, and he said, said it was installed properly, it was misaligned, and they put a two-inch pipe connected to a three-inch pipe. So you said it was installed so, properly or improperly? Im improperly, okay. sorry, improperly. So what recourse do I have? I don't like those people that put it in. They were very rude. I've given them a lot of money, and, uh, you know, it was covered by insurance. Now my insurance says they do not cover uh, faulty workmanship. So what is the value? value of the faulty workmanship in other words how much are you out I don't know how much it's going to cost to rip up the brand new floor okay hey and Sally Sally we're gonna have to take a break but listen carefully when we come back we'll be answering your question just listen on your radio okay uh, this is the uh, the law show we're gonna take a short break when we come back we'll be answering your questions at 855 law show that's 855 529 7469 once again here are Brian Daly and Justin Grove Welcome back to The Law Show. My name is Brian Daly. I'm attorney Brian Daly, broadcasting live from The Law Show studios every Saturday, every Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time with my good friend, colleague, and co-host, Justin Grove. And Justin, when we left earlier, uh, we were uh, hearing about uh, Sally. She had a, uh, an issue, a leak, and the insurance covered for the work, but they didn't cover for the faulty work. Um, and she wants to know about small claims, but small claims are only 3,500. sounds like she's got more damages than that. I think it, did it go up to 5,000? I thought they increased it earlier talking about increasing it you know I, I you know it's been so long since I've been in small claims I, I actually thought my my last understanding was it was uh, thirty five hundred dollars but either way if she's gonna sue a company more than likely they're gonna come in they're gonna well they have to hire an attorney and then they remove it to district court so yeah. it could get a little more complicated for her. we really need to know uh, what the damages are how much money there is and, and what she's going after but I mean ultimately if the work isn't done correctly then she absolutely has the right to, to pursue those people and get her money back I also think that she can still go after the insurance company because the insurance company promised to repair it and it's not repaired yeah I mean you know? there's there's that's that probably be the better way to go because you know coming out of pocket to now you know pay these people and not have the work done and then pay to sue them again and your collection who knows what you're gonna get out of them I mean, and it's, the thing is is that you'd probably have an easier time finding a lawyer to take the insurance case than you would to take the other case but you know what yeah, I would do absolutely. if I were doing it is I'd bring them both in and I'd go to district court right away yeah I mean that's that's probably the best thing she can do so if she needs that kind of help she absolutely you can call us back at 855-LAW-SHOW. It's 855-529-7469. All week, she can call us.